Now I am going to show you how to measure starter current draw. And we are going to look at how much current this starter is pulling. And that's a pretty useful thing because it'll tell us if the starter is good or bad or whatever. It'll help us to examine the, the, the function of the starter. But there's also other information. If we, if we do this in a more complex way, um, there are ways to actually gauge the health of the engine based on starter current draw. But we're just going to strictly stick with measuring starter current. And we're going to use our Ferret 40, just simple plain Jane tester. Um, it's a carbon pile tester. We're not going to use a carbon pile for this. We're just going to use our, our amp clamp uh, to, measure, to measure current. So we'll start out by, by hooking up our, hooking the machine up to our, our clamps there. And we can see that uh, we can see our, our voltage in the battery around 12.5 volts. So that's good. We want to make sure that uh, there is voltage in the battery. We want to make sure the battery is good before we do a current draw test. If the battery is not good, then it's not going to be able to supply us with the correct amount of current and the test results will be invalid. Now you can kind of tell by looking at this battery, it's actually brand new. So it better be good. And based on the voltage there, it looks like it's not too bad. It's, you know, could use a little more charge, but that's not a big deal. It is over 12.4, so we can do a valid test. Now we need to hook up this thing, our amp clamp, and we need to decide where is the current going to be traveling from the battery down to the starter because we want to put this thing around wires associated with flowing that current. Well, obviously it's going to come out of the battery, positive side, go down to the starter, which is actually back over there behind the intake manifold. And then it's going to wind its way back up. It's going to come back over here. So we could put it on either one of those cables. Um, and so anyway, just for the sake of ease, I'm going to put it right there. Um, and that that should work. The most important thing is we want to make sure that our, our clamp is, our amp clamp is closed all the way. And putting it right there, it is closed all the way. So that should work just fine. Um, there shouldn't be any other issues. Now we need to make sure that the engine is not going to start because we want to crank on this thing for, you know, 10 seconds or so. So we need to make sure that the engine is not going to start. Now I already took out this thing, which is the fuel pump relay and made sure that the engine will not start. Uh, with no fuel, obviously, how can it start? So let's move this into a position where we can see it while we reach in there and crank. I'm gonna drag it over here. And we will watch our current as we crank. Now we wanna watch what the current jumps to because it's going to jump up to something high and then it's going to settle back down a little bit. The battery puts out the most current or I should say the starter draws the most current when it first kicks in. After that, it will actually decrease a little bit and kind of settle into a happy place. So let's see what happens. Okay. So what we saw was the current jumped way up to something high, settled back down to around 100, and kind of bounced around a little bit in that area. Our voltage dropped down a little bit, um, but it didn't drop down too low. We generally don't want to see our voltage go much below about 10 volts. I usually use the 9.6, which is what you use on a battery load test because we're essentially loading the battery. But generally, if it gets down to 9.6 even, that's probably too much. So. We are definitely above 10 volts. Everything should be fine. Our current was 100. Is that good or bad? Don't know. We don't know if that's good or bad. We'd have to look up the specification for this particular make and model. This is just a little old Hyundai Accent with a little four-cylinder engine in it, so it couldn't draw too much current. I would say 100 is maybe, oh, a little bit on the high side, but probably just fine for this particular vehicle. If this was a, a big V8, we would definitely see more. If it was a, a diesel engine, you know, we would see 200 or so. Um, but 100 amps for this little engine, I think is fine. So anyway, that's all there is to testing starter current. It's a very simple test, uh, no sweat. You just wanna make sure that you, you watch your, your current, 
watch your loaded voltage and if they both look good then that tells you that you've got uh, a starter that's in good shape.